Guys, this film, it feels weird to call it entertainment because it's like a piece of art. Incredible. Incredible in every way. Quickly though, did you, like how much of this science did you understand? Because I felt not very bright sometimes listening to the stuff that Oppenheimer is talking about and writing on the board and... It kind of went over my head, a lot of that stuff. How much do, do you understand? Don't feel bad, honestly. <laughs> don't, because I, 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 I didn't really understand most of it. I had a vague concept, conceptual grasp of it. I did work with um, Kip Thorne, who was the science advisor on the movie, and he was a science advisor on um, Interstellar as well. Mm. And he's like a Nobel Prize winning physicist. But that's not our job, okay. is yeah. to understand it. I don't think it's your job as an audience member <laughs> either. You know? I did realise when reading it, I was like, oh, that sounds pretty. I'll get that in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, just because I can see them down by your side, um, <laughs> flowers. That was um, the previous interview. Was really yeah, sweet. <laughs> you. But your character, not I guess, not a fan of them because they kind of end up in the bin a lot. How do you? No, feel I think about... she probably was if they had been from the right parts. I think she, it was just very conflicting. That was okay. where I. That's how I okay. felt about it. It was just a very <laughs> conflicting thing to be given by someone. Yeah. She didn't. It was just. Yeah, confusing in her brain and body. <laughs> There's no doubt, though, that Oppenheimer was a genius. The amount he held in his brain, I just can't even begin to comprehend the, the thing of learning Dutch in six weeks. I mm -hmm. was just like, mm. and even your great job, by the way, speaking Dutch. I don't know if you do you speak. Not at all, not at well, all no. Great but job. Our, um, our DP, Hoide van Hoidema, is from Holland. So he recorded me that speech on my phone, oh. and then I just slowed it down and learned it just phonetically. I have no idea what it means. Oh. Just phonetically. Because so. I was going to say, what is the... <laughs> 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 what Something is the thing that you think you've had to learn the quickest? Because as actors, I imagine you have to learn a lot of different skills for different movies and things. What is the thing that you think you've had to learn in the shortest amount of time? I had to learn Russian in, like, not all of Russian, but I had to learn a Russian few lines and it changed in the morning after knowing what and it's so every little like in your mouth means a completely different thing and yeah. so Scarlett and I would be saying what we think were lines and be like okay so you're not saying anything <laughs> and that was really really tough going because you also just don't want to like offend anyone yeah. <laughs> Yeah, especially when you don't know. How about you, yeah. Killian? Uh, I guess in this one there was a lot of the equations I had to learn oh, by, yeah. by rote um, and get, actually something kind of satisfying because they're just these beautiful marks. It, becomes, it kind of feels like hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics yes. or something. You know? the, again, I just did that for months and months and months. It's hardly any of it in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, at least you know you did it. It's I did fine. it. Um, and I have to say, watching this, it made me... It made me question so much about what goes on behind closed doors that we just don't know what's going on. I don't know how much your mind goes there. Like, obviously, they're building this bomb that could take out the entire world. And they're like, yeah, we'll give it a go. Like, we'll see what happens. How much do you, does your mind go think like, oh, God, there's other stuff going on in this world that we just don't have a clue about? That's a big, big question. <laughs> it is a big question. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. There's always stuff going on there and stuff that you'll never know about. But I mean, I yeah. don't know if that's anything that anyone can, I don't like that, I, you can't let that freak you out though, because otherwise you'd just be in a ball in a room and never come out. <laughs> I feel like that's why I was just, you know when you come out of this film and it's not like, you're not, it's, it's uncomfortable almost to watch yeah. mm. because it leaves yeah. you with so much. Yeah. yeah, And the fact that you don't understand what goes on in that in, in these brains, it, it's like makes you even more alienated. Yeah, for sure. And I know Killian, you have said that every role that you do, you take something away with you from it. Did so I say that? Oh, you have in the yeah. past. <laughs> you said that every day on set, man. You came with your coffee, like every role that I've played. Oh, shit. Sure. What did you, what would you say you took from this one? You mean physically or well, like in my <laughs> mind? I think maybe more mentally, but if you took physically as well, by all Genuinely, means. I, I, I don't go into, you know, film roles looking to learn something. I, my, I feel my job is to just give the director the raw materials. I mean, you learn skills, like, you know, yeah. to play Russian or to speak Russian or whatever, like, but it, I don't come in as a sort of a form of analysis, yeah. really. You've done a great job, regardless of Thank you. what, it's just, yeah, mind-blowing. So good luck Thank with you. it, guys. Thank, Thank so you much. so much. Lovely chatting to you. See ya. So Bye. Bye.